All right. Uh, it's been an incredible year. Uh, the SpaceX team, I think, is uh, the best space team that has ever been assembled on the face of the Earth by far. Uh, and the achievements of the past year demonstrate that. Uh, I think to a degree that is mind-blowing. Like what you have achieved over the past year is nothing short of incredible. And one day we will indeed occupy Mars. <laughs> so. NASA's Artemis II and III missions are facing delays due to various technical hurdles, with SpaceX's Starship emerging as a potential culprit. Elon Musk's space venture successfully conducted the second integrated test flight of its colossal flagship rocket, aiming to propel humans to Mars and beyond. Unlike its initial attempt that ended in a crash, the November launch from Boca Chica, Texas, marked a flawless ascent to the edge of space. Despite the overall success, the historic flight encountered challenges as both the Starship and the Super Heavy booster exploded shortly after stage separation, creating mesmerizing fireballs. Speculation arose about the flight termination system triggering these explosions, designed to destroy the rocket if it deviates from its planned trajectory. Two months later, Elon Musk addressed the issues during a company update at Starbase, revealing that the world's heaviest rocket was too light to reach orbit. Musk explained that if the second flight had carried a payload, it would have achieved orbit, highlighting that the venting of liquid oxygen, a procedure necessary without a payload, led to a fire and explosion. Undeterred by hardware losses, Musk emphasized the importance of prioritizing time over hardware, stating, it is always better to sacrifice hardware than sacrifice time. Like, time is the one true currency. So, anyway, so in terms of getting there, we want, obviously want to accelerate the production and testing, um, get to a high cadence. Uh, you know, for, for any given technology development, there it is, um, you know, how many iterations do you have and what is the amount of time between each iteration? So every time we launch, we learn, every time we launch or do a test, we, we learn something more. So increasing that cadence of launching and testing. Um, and it's always better to sacrifice uh, hardware rather than sacrifice time. Like time is the, true, the one true currency. Um, so it's, it, the fa it's sort of the fastest path to, a, you know, as I was saying earlier, rapidly, re re rapidly reusable, reliable rocket. Um, Yeah, so, um, and we've got, uh, yeah, a block, uh, sort of a version two ship uh, that will be more reliable, better performance, endurance. We've got a, a version three ship uh, design that will stretch that, that be even taller, <laughs> probably end up being, I don't know, 140 meters before it's all said and done, maybe 150 in the end, in, in, in length. Um, so, uh, yeah. Looking ahead, Musk outlined new goals for the third integrated test flight in February, pending Federal Aviation Administration FAA, approval. These objectives include an in-space engine burn from a header tank, propellant transfer technology testing, and trials of the payload door for deploying Starlink satellites. SpaceX is Constellation for providing internet services. The Starship project, standing at 120 meters and capable of carrying 100 tons of cargo and passengers, represents Musk's ambitious vision for revolutionizing space exploration and colonization. SpaceX has secured contracts with NASA for lunar missions, with plans for the first crewed mission to Mars in 2026. Elon Musk attributed the Starship upper stage's failure in the November test flight to a propellant dump, expressing confidence that the upcoming flight could reach orbit the venting of liquid oxygen, necessary due to the absence of payload, resulted in a fire and explosion. Musk's optimism for Flight 3, scheduled for February, includes goals like an in-space engine burn and propellant transfer testing. So fl Flight 2 actually almost made it to orbit. Um, so, uh, in fact, ironically, if, um, if it had had a payload, it would have made it to orbit. Uh, because the reason that it actually didn't quite make it to orbit was we vented the liquid oxygen, and the liquid oxygen uh, ultimately led to fire and an, ex and an explosion, because we, we wanted to vent the liquid oxygen because we 
normally wouldn't have that liquid oxygen if we had a payload. <laughs> so ironically, if it had a payload, it would have reached orbit. Um, and so I think we've got a really good shot of reaching orbit with flight three, and then uh, a rapid cadence to achieve full and rapid reusability. And I mean, the, kind of the mind-blowing thing is, like, there is an actual path that we are on to make life multiplanetary. Can you friggin' believe that? Like, what? I... Yeah, we just gotta get it done before civilization ends, but, but like, I think we, a thing is gonna happen. Um, yeah, right here. SpaceX aims to increase its launch rate for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, targeting 150 flights in 2024, with plans for rapid turnarounds and qualification of Falcon 9 boosters for up to 40 flights.